Hello and welcome to Western Australia's capital, Perth, for the final round of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship. Nick Fellows and Frank Versteg once again bringing you a full report on the qualifying rounds. And it is official, the World Championship has been decided here in Australia. A very happy Austrian, Frank. A dream career, Nick, from Hannes Ark from Steiermark in Austria. He started actually as a race director here in the Red Bull Air Race, and now today he took victory. All his investments, not only in the airplane, aerodynamically, in his engine, power, in his own person, being fit, losing weight, running, jogging, investing in his team. A dream career paid off today. Well deserved world champion Hannes Ark. Let me explain it to you technically. By qualifying for the Super 8s, he's guaranteed at least two championship points, and that's enough to take Hannes Ark clear of Paul Bonham and wrap up the World Championship title. Here's what the Austrian had to say. I mean, I put it uh, all my life into that project, uh, also my team, and I got a really fast airplane. Don Vito helped me a lot here. Uh, I prepared myself and, uh, and actually it worked out fine, also with a little bit of luck. The others doing a lot of mistakes and uh, that helped also. So congratulations to Hannes Ark, our newly crowned 2008 world champion. And he still has to do just one more race. No matter what the outcome of that race, he has taken our tour title. The man who's chasing second spot in the world rankings for this year is Paul Bonham. He looked pretty impressive out there, but a true sportsman. The first man to congratulate Hannes Ock. Yeah, I was very good. A real sportsman. And I must say, air racing is a gentleman's sport. And maybe it seems that the world championship is already decided. But it will be very exciting because there's a lot of honour on stake during race day. Let's see what Paul Bonham has to say about his performance here in Perth today. Runner-up to the championship is a, is a pain in the backside, to be honest. Um, and, uh, you know, a win tomorrow would be nice, but it certainly wouldn't make up for, for, you know, what's gone before. Perhaps the most pleasing performance for many of the fans here in Perth, Australia, was the man in the Breitling MXS, Frank. A very impressive performance from uh, Nigel Lamb and uh, as we noticed and it's quite clearly to see that uh, he was taking and winning points seconds, valuable seconds in the uh, turn in the duo and if you see his turn compared to Kirby Chambliss turn it's impressive to see how much quicker Nigel Lamb was, very promising flying. So the big stories of the day, well, Hannes Ark sets a new track record and takes the World Championship in qualifying. Nigel Lamb in second spot, Paul Bonham in third. Perhaps the biggest disappointment of the day was that of Mike Mangold, down in ninth, Frank. Mike Mangold did not, uh, did not do himself a favour. I mean, it was practically for the first time he flew so bad and I must say um, he will be very grumpy. And of course Mike Mangold is lying third in the championship standings. He now goes through to the point one round, giving away all of his chances of possibly finishing the season in the top three world ranking. Another disappointment, the same error twice from Glenn Dell. What shall we say, Nick? I mean, uh, we have been commenting on it and uh, we were surprised that he even made a mistake the first round because it was a tactical mistake. He just chose the wrong line and then I was completely convinced that he was going to do better the second round and he made exactly the same mistake. I don't know, really, I don't know what to say. A fantastically exciting qualifying round here in Perth and we've still got the big race to come here in Western Australia. And please remember, you can see it all live on RedBullAirRace.com. From Nick Fellows and Frank Versteeg, until the big day, it's goodbye for now.